Hello and a very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma. Cryptocurrency markets were trading lower on Tuesday as prospects of higher for longer interest rates to damp inflation continues to weigh on risky assets. Bitcoin dropped below the crucial $23,500 mark. Macroeconomic data released throughout February tempered the mood with which risk assets began the year. Although many experts were already announcing at the time that the rebound could be unsustainable. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading down by 0.5% at 33,000 points. In another interesting news, Coinbase will suspend trading of Binance USD from March 13, 2023, the US crypto exchange has said. The suspension is based on the internal monitoring process of Coinbase, which found that stablecoin does not meet its listing standards, analysts said. The words of caution coming from Arthur Hayes, co-founder and former CEO of crypto derivatives exchange BitMEX. He warned that a massive cryptocurrency price correction is on the cards. But he noted that after it, there could be a sustained bull run he is super bullish about. The latter data remained consistent with the strong and the resilient US economy, calling for more rate hikes from the Federal Reserve to slow inflation. The global cryptocurrency market capitalization was trading at $1.06 trillion, decreasing 0.6% in the last 24 hours. The total crypto market volume increased by 26% to stand at $46 billion. With the increasing popularity of liquid staking, the sector has become the second largest crypto branch in terms of combined total value locked. According to data by DeFi Lama, over $14 billion worth of digital assets has been deposited in 71 liquid staking protocols. Liquid staking allows users to earn rewards for locking cryptocurrencies in a blockchain network while retaining liquidity of locked funds. The surge in interest in liquid staking comes amid growing excitement around the upcoming Shanghai upgrade. Stock futures fell slightly as investors braced for the final trading day of February. Futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average dipped 11 points or 0.03%, while S&P 500 and Nasdaq 100 futures slipped 0.04% and 0.06% respectively. Bitcoin was trading at $23,358, down 0.2%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was down by 0.8%, trading at $1,625. The Ethereum blockchain's Sepolia testnet has undergone a successful upgrade that simulates the upcoming Shanghai hard fork that is expected to take place in March on the network's mainnet. In another interesting news, an Ethereum ICO era whale transferred ETH worth $65 million last week ahead of the key Chappella blockchain upgrade that kicked in this week. BNB was down by 1% to trade at $301. Solana SOL was down 2.5% and was trading at $22.2. .2. Avalanche AVAX was trading at $17.5, lower 3%. Polygon Matic was trading down by 2.3% to trade at $1.2. Cardano's ADA token was down by 0.1% to trade at $0.36. Shiba Inu was trading down by 2.3%. Polkadot was down by 2% to trade at $6.5. However, Doge, the popular meme coin, was trading up by 0.6% at $0.081. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.37, up by 0.8%. That's all in Coin Monitor for now. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. Do like, share, and subscribe to 3 Toto TV and have a great day. Trezor, a hardware wallet manufacturer, is speeding up the production of new Trezor wallets by manufacturing its own wallet silicon chips. On February 27th, Trezor officially announced that it would begin facilitating the production of its key components, the chip wrapper, in its flagship product, the Trezor Model T. The move aims to significantly optimize Trezor wallet production, cutting supply cycle lead times from two years to several months. According to Trezor, the optimization will also eliminate delays in shipping finished products and uh, protect consumers from price fluctuations caused by component supply and demand. Trip Hawkins, one of the founders of Electronic Arts, announced he was joining the Web3 gaming startup games for a living as co-founder and chief strategist. GFAL develops a set of tools that allow the development of Web3 games. Its main aim is to support the creation of 
triple A category video games that can be easily integrated to the blockchain. During a press conference, Hawkins stated that Web3 is the bridge to the metaverse, which is why he wants to build a more secure metaverse that is less prone to hacking. Additionally, the new GFAL executive said he will focus on building an economy in the metaverse that is as close as possible to the real world. A group of large Japanese corporations including Mitsubishi, Fujitsu and the banking giant Mizuho recently agreed to collaborate to establish a metaverse economic zone for the country with the goal of developing open metaverse infrastructure. According to a recent press release, the group will be guided by former Square Enix executive and JP Game CEO Hajime Tabata's goal to update Japan through the power of games. According to sources, companies that have signed the agreement will be required to integrate their technologies and services such as gamification and fintech in order to build the technical infrastructure. Ryugu Koku is the project's current name. In the upcoming special segment on NFTs, we will update you about the following news. South Korea's Lotte Group partners with Polygon for global NFT drive. Jump.Trade is all set to introduce first NFT racing game in Metaverse. 74% of survey participants says they buy NFTs for status. Stay tuned for more updates. We will keep you connected to the evolving world of NFT. For accurate and latest updates of cryptocurrency markets and global regulations. Metaverse and Web3. 3.0 TV covers the latest crypto crimes. Keeps you updated about the global crypto events and exhibitions.